the immune system is a sensory system, almost like a sixth sense, if you like. Whose role it is is to monitor the body, both from, uh, for things that are external to it, such as viruses and bacteria, and internally to, for cancer, identify those things that are attacking the body and protect us against them. For the past 100 years or so, we've been investigating the system. And so in the latter third of the 20th century is when we started really having big breakthroughs and understanding how the basic principles of how this system works. What happened in the past decade or so is that we've been able to develop technologies that allow us for each of the different layers of the immune system, and it has many different layers of complexity, to measure those comprehensively. And so suddenly we've been able to take a, a blood drop or any kind of a tissue sample and suddenly see all the different components together and tries to understand the immune system as a whole. My lab is interested in essentially mapping the landscape of the immune system, understanding the variation between each one of us and understanding how the immune system is constructed, sort of like the architecture of the system. The way we do so is really one of two different methodologies. One is that we track humans over time by collecting blood samples or tissue samples from them from the hospital. We work extremely closely with clinicians in different hospitals around the world. And from those samples, we measure hundreds of thousands of different parameters on the immune system, from which we can then assemble the state of the immune system and relate this to clinical diagnoses. The other way we work is actually without measuring anything in the lab, but rather pulling information that's available on the internet from the public domain. There's now millions of different studies that people have actually measured human samples. Every 30 minutes, a new paper comes out on the immune system. We've been mining all the publicly available literature. We pull this out automatically. We built a computer program that allows us to parse that and build a computational model of the interactions between different cells of the immune system. We've been able to predict based on baseline samples pre-treatment, how individuals will respond to therapy for different drugs and inflammatory bowel diseases. We've been tracking older adults over time and identified an immunological age, a means by which we can assess a person's immune state that, or kind of immunological age that differs from their chronological age and identify additional information to predict mortality and morbidity. Cytoreason is a company I co-founded with additional researchers in the lab. It leverages the algorithms we've developed in the lab to build a machine learning model of the immune system and apply it towards drug development. Developing new drugs is an expensive process, costs over a billion dollars and takes a long amount of time. And by using computational algorithms, we can really reduce the cost of this and as well as identify new targets that would have been missed otherwise. I grew up doing basic research, basic science. I had a wonderful time as a basic researcher, but I, I felt like there was something missing. The human touch, being able to actually affect directly human health, was something that when you study a single cell organism like a bacteria or, or a worm, you're, you're too distant from. And so doing something where I'm actually contributing directly seemed like a strong appeal. Simultaneously, my father was diagnosed with cancer. And I was shocked by how I was doing this really cool work uh, on worms, and yet so little of this was actually yet in medicine. And so I made a choice to move to a field where our research has direct impact on human health. The Technion is uniquely situated for research in biomedicine. It's a leading technological institute on a world class, and is one of the few such institutes that actually has a medical school. The Faculty of Medicine is situated right next to Rambam Hospital, which is Israel's third largest hospital and the leading hospital in the north of Israel. And so we work very closely with the clinicians in the hospital, studying a variety of different diseases and understanding how the immune system plays a role in them. If we're able to simulate the immune system in full and understand the variation that exists in each one of us, we'd be able to apply this information in the clinic and build precision medicine for immunology. Given the importance of the immune system across all diseases, this should have tremendous impact on human health.